Hello, Captain. Hola, stranger. Hey, Capitan. I found a worthy opponent for you. Where then? I can't see anyone. Here. Jamila. Hello, Captain. You can't be serious. Why ever not? She can fence better than anyone I know. Capitan Carlos was her mentor. I'm not fighting a woman. Go on. Just have a go. No, it's beneath my honor. Fencing with me is beneath your honor? Just you wait. See how it feels to lose against me. <laughs> That's just laughable. Save the laughing for later. If you've still got something to laugh about, that is. All right, then. If you won't have it any other way, I'll show you who the master is. Well, what do you say now? Not got far with your fencing skills, eh? Stop. The agreement's off. What? You've lost. Therefore, you give us your vote. No, your father still owes me 110 gold pieces. And I can't see why you shouldn't pay me that back. Anyway, you're not getting my vote. If you're fencing for your friend, then you ought to settle your father's debts as well. Don't you think? You can't just do that. Otherwise, I'll never see my gold. You greedy so-and-so. Should I scratch you a little? I bet you can't stand blood. Ah! Leave it be, Jamila. We won't dirty our hands with him. He's not worth it. Such a bad loser. A pathetic little scumbag. I'll go down to a hundred gold pieces. Or an object made from pure gold. What? Does he think we still want something from him? He can keep his filthy vote. Think about it. Bring me the gold pieces. Or something of similar value. And then you can have my vote. It looks like a treasure map. Why is it just hanging around here for everyone to see? This treasure map here. Forget it. It's already been searched for. But if you like scrabbling around in the mud, please feel free. Who knows? Perhaps something's been overlooked, or someone has used the old one as a new hiding place. It's possible. Hmm. This can't be the right place. There's already a cross on the map. This must be the spot. Looks as though someone's been digging here recently. This must be the spot. Looks as though someone's been digging here recently. I can feel some resistance. A, a tree root. Or has someone really hidden something here? Someone's going to be really angry. But I'm just passing it from one thief to the next. It's just a big circle. A treasure chest made of wood. Now, is there anything in it? I mean, apart from Maltese sea air. 
I don't believe it. A golden scepter. It looks really valuable. You said to us that if I bring you something made from pure gold, that you'd give us your vote. Is that still the case? Show me. What have you got then? A golden scepter. That has to be worth a thousand gold pieces. I mean, a hundred at best. Well, all right, you, you got a deal. So we've got your vote? Yes. Let's have the scepter then. Bring them here! Greetings to you, who have managed to find your way here. We thank you, O oh great Leviathan, for receiving us. Tell me, how did you manage to win over five of my captains? With drive and intellect. And you, Jamila, you who has fallen from grace together with your rebellious father, how dare you stand before me? I trust your power of judgment and beg for your forgiveness. My father is dead. He has paid for his disobedience. Paid, you say? Twenty men died with him and the ship was destroyed. Silence! You are not granted to speak for me. Forgive me, O oh great Leviathan. I did not want... Quiet, I say! What is it you want from me? We wish, with your permission, to leave Malta. Why? Don't you like it here? Yes, yes, it's just... My brother was abducted by the Spanish Inquisition, and I must rescue him. Alone against the Spanish Inquisition? You really are full of surprises. He is not alone. I accompany him. That is, if you let me go. Well... I will have to think about that. But first, tell me, who are you, and what is your name? Theodore Morales. I am an inventor, and I come from Barcelona. As you are not one of us, you must first prove that you have earned my respect. Are you ready to take a test? Yes, O oh great Leviathan, I am ready. You can choose from five tasks. Fencing, swimming, climbing, diving and serving. Which do you choose? The task involving diving. What exactly do I have to do? Not far from the beach is a sunken ship which is supposed to have a huge diamond embedded in the helm. According to legend, it's still there. Thus far, no one has managed to dive for so long. That is the toughest task of all. Bring me the diamond from the middle of the helm, and I'll grant your wish. Am I allowed to use aids? Yes. The most important thing is that you get the diamond. Good. Then I choose this task. Hello. You again? Can I roll that wine barrel at the cave entrance outside? 
No, damn it. It's still got wine in it. Can I roll that wine barrel at the cave entrance outside? No, damn it. It's still got wine in it. Adios, Apayo. See you then, estupido. Hola, Capitan. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You drink a fair bit of rum. Yes, about four or five jugs of an evening. Not many can drink as fast as me. Four to five jugs? Can you imagine just how many you could drink your way through if it weren't rum, but wine in those jugs? Probably twice as much. What? Twice? With what you can take, we must be looking at three times as many. Ah, you could be right. Three times five jugs, that's, uh, uh... Well, whatever. A hell of a lot, huh? <laughs> that would be a record. See you later. Yes, till then. Hey, Barman, bring me wine from my dry throat. Yes, on the far right. A jug of wine. Did you hear that? Now there's a man of the world sitting there. What kind of a world? One where there's no rum left? One where the men aren't already lying drunk under the table before sunset. Where's my wine, Governor? I'm dying of thirst. That won't happen in here. <laughs> here. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Here's to Grandma. May she rest in peace. We'll have wine too. If that's what my sweetheart wants, then let's splash out. Oh, I like you like this. What? A drink-off, is it? Just wait. Me too! Make it two jugs! Oh, great. That's my evening ruined. We're out of wine! Successfully emptied. barrel would be pushed under the water, but the stones are sure to shift when it moves. The stones stay put. Now I've got a source of air under water. I hope this legendary helm diamond really does exist, otherwise my diving invention is useless to me. Leviathan, the diamond from the helm of the sunken ship. Theodore Morales, you 
really have guts. I could do with someone like you. Won't you stay here and crew on my ship? That is indeed an offer, O oh Great Leviathan. But I have to get my brother in Tripoli as quickly as possible. I told you what happened to him. I understand your motives. And that's why I will help you. Both of you. With my help, you will both soon be in Tripoli. We thank you, O oh Great Leviathan, a thousand times. With the help of the Great Leviathan, Theodore and Jamila boarded a trading ship that took them south, all the way to the harbor of Tripoli. They evaded the Spanish naval blockade, hidden in barrels, and as such made it into the large trading harbor, undiscovered. From there, a middleman brought them to a remote corner of the city, 